All right, all right, all right. We are back, we are back, and we are talking check engine light. That's right, I got my first check engine light uh, on the Lamborghini. Uh, so coming back from um, a rally, uh, we were driving, and um, I noticed out of nowhere the check engine pops up. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what's the problem? So I, I had no clue, so I, I um, was, uh, so I started checking online. You know, I called up Lamborghini, all this other stuff, and it was just forever to, to get some kind of a resolution. Uh, so I took it to the shop. Uh, so not Lamborghini, there's a place that I take it to uh, so that they can do the work. So this way, you know, obviously I don't, if I can avoid the labor fee from Lamborghini, that would help. And um, yeah, so for my case, so if you see this check engine sign on yours, you'll kind of have an idea and then you can figure it out as well. So for me, uh, my check engine was um, the different valves. So basically, cylinders, I'm sorry. So they had to clean, they said the cylinders, and then they had to clean the pipes. They said that it was just dirt um, build up. They said it could be from it opening and closing. It could be dust from something. So they said they just cleaned it, and they put the machine in, error codes gone, they didn't charge me for any of it. They said it was actually a pretty easy process um, and they didn't charge me, thank God. Uh, but basically, if you see error codes, because then obviously Lamborghini did call me back and told me that, kind of just gave me some stories that if you see certain things to pay attention. So they said, you know, the first thing, if you see an error code of, you know, 1-5, 6-10, don't drive it hard, don't do anything, take it directly to the dealership. The reason why, or, or the place you're gonna get the work done. The reason why is because it's probably dirt or buildup or something that happened while driving, right? And when you, uh, uh, if you don't get it clean, the longer you put the pressure on the car, the car will then, it will trigger other issues. So you'll have other sensors that may, you might have something that'll burn. Um, they mentioned that depending on how you drive the car, like if you're not driving it right, you can burn your coils, your coil over something like that, and you can then cause another issue, which they said that will run you about 1200 to 1700 if they had to replace um, that. So you see the check engine, they said if the car's driving smooth though, like meaning like you see the check engine, but the car's not jerky, the car's still driving normal, they're like, cool, that means that it's just the, uh, it's probably the pipes, the actual, you know, where the exhaust is, so there's some pipes there, obviously, that um, sending a message to the sensors there that there's too much dirt, or one of the things is an opening, so it's causing issue with, uh, with the backup, right? Because, you know, there, you know, every time you shift gears, these things are, you know, fire, 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 right? So there could be some buildup there, uh, and that's what happened. So this is a short video, but I just wanted to be let everybody know that if you see this, uh, that's that. And here's a bonus thing for you. So if you have one of these cars, one of the problems that I thought was a problem, and I realized that this is happens in um, a lot of all-wheel drive cars. This is an all-wheel drive car. So when you turn the steering wheel, right? depending on where you are unlike other cars if you try to do like a complete turn the car will make some noises like it doesn't want to do it if you're driving you're doing it slow miles like under 10 miles an hour it's like the car doesn't want to do it so you may be more hesitant to drive so you'll slow down and then it's going to be even worse and the car depending on how you turn it sometimes can make even a worse noise coming from the back right so i checked it and i checked you know lamborghini checked it and i said no it's just that's how the car is. It's one of the quirks with this car, okay? Um, there's some turning noises that you're gonna hear, and depending on how it goes, some, some vibration. And that comes from how big the tires are and the turning radius that the car is like, I don't wanna turn like that. Sharp corners, kinda leaning into turns, things like that, like a race car, the car is perfect. Trying to drive the car like a Toyota Camry, you will get some weird noises. So don't don't think that there's something wrong with you. Don't think that there's something wrong with the car. From what they're telling me, it is normal. I checked some forums. Seems that a lot of people who got the cars for the first time and they're they're used to driving a certain type of car, they have the same issue that that I had. Uh, but the good thing is it didn't cost me anything. But obviously. 
my recommendation is if that's you, you want to take it to you, whoever it is that you're going to work, have them read the codes and have them clear the codes and then clean out um, those areas and you should be fine. So that's what happened. But the Lambo's back. As you can see, we are back to moving and grooving. And I'm excited to uh, get back to driving. I think we figured out some of the issues. We've had a couple little things here or there, but that's just me being me. I'm like, okay, can we check that? Can we check this? Can we check that? Can we check this? Even though all that stuff is checked, it just helps me sleep at night knowing um, knowing better, okay? Um, what's another thing that I did? Mm, oh, I changed the battery, so my, uh, my key. Uh, so for those of you who have a, the key, um, if you have an issue, let's say your key's not working or whatever, go right to Rite Aid, uh, pick up um, one of the little circle things. I think it was 2332 um, of the little circle batteries. And I think that's what it is, but um, it's something like that. And basically, once you put the right battery and you'll figure out the battery, when you go on Google, type in Lamborghini got a replacement battery and you'll see that they'll tell you which one it is. You buy it from Rite Aid. It's not the small one, it's the one that's a little bit bigger, right? Um, and once you put it in the, your, your, your key, you have, to press, you have to put the key in the ignition, press both buttons for like five seconds, then let go. Uh, on some models, there's a little, uh, you see a little thing come up, in other models, you don't see anything. Then you take it out of the ignition, okay? And then you go out the car and try to see if it works. It's worked uh, uh, in some cases, other cases it haven't. I'm just giving you guys something else that I had to, I was messing around with. So these are all little things uh, that was going on, but nonetheless, comes with the territory, but uh, can't take away from the amazing ownership. I'll tell you that right now. All right, guys, so I'm out. I hope this video will help somebody who may go through it. It's like, is somebody give me some kind of direction on what to do with this right now and go from there? But in most cases, uh, you're not gonna have to spend a lot of money, if anything at all, depending on where you take it. Um, and as long as the car is not jerking, going crazy, that means, or misfiring, that means that, you know, your spark plugs are good, coils are still good. That means that it just needs to have that area cleaned out and you're good to go. All right, guys, see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Like, share, subscribe.